Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. Many of my students when writing their essays ask, how do I reference a journal research article in my assignments and dissertations and create a references list using the Harvard referencing style? Well in this video I'm going to try and make it as easy as possible for you to do this so that you can ensure you get good marks for your referencing. But before I do, I'd like to quickly ask you to subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment and let me know what more you want to see from me so that I can make videos that are useful to you. Now, referencing is actually quite straightforward. In this video, I'm going to be focusing on Harvard referencing for a journal article. If you're interested in referencing a book or a website or other sources like that, then let me know in the comment section below and I'll create other videos for you. So why is referencing important? Well, it's important for a number of reasons. Firstly, it's important when you use someone else's work that you credit them for it. If you don't credit them, then it's a bit like being dishonest and not showing where you've accessed your information and developed your ideas. The second reason for referencing is when people read your essay, dissertation or article or other piece of work that you are writing, you need to be able to provide them with a link showing where you have gained the information that you've used. By using a references list at the end of your assignment, dissertation, article, etc., you can point readers to the original sources that you've used to develop your ideas. Thirdly, accurate referencing also shows that you've done lots of wider reading beyond the course's reading list. Wider reading can not only help you develop your critical thinking, but also your analytical skills and demonstrate to your markers that you have an interest and a passion for the work you've undertaken. To cite references within your text, there are two ways of doing this using the Harvard referencing style. The first way is by mentioning the author and then putting the date of the publication. So for example, let's say you use one of my journal papers. As the author, you would write Kuna brackets 2023 demonstrated that 360 degree headsets could be used to effectively deliver research findings to child protection workers. Now that's one approach for doing this and the references Kuna 2023. It's important that you put the date there as well because you want to make sure that if you have another sole authored article by me from say 2010 that you're showing the exact paper that you're referring to and that at the end of the paper you'll put your references list with the full reference. The second way to reference in text is by paraphrasing. From a research article you might find some information that you want to discuss, analyse or critique and after paraphrasing it you want to end that sentence by highlighting the place where that information came from. So what you can do is take information from the article, which is fine, and then put it into your own words and adapt it to try to explain your point and at the same time illustrate the source of your information and where the ideas you are discussing have come from. In this case, Kuna 2019. Now, if there's only one author, then you only have to put Kuna 2023. But let's say you have more than one author. If you have up to three authors, you would write all their names in this way. Valentine Lowe and Bedo 2017. If you have more than three authors, like my article from 2019 about the use of Facebook in child protection work, which has four authors, then you would write Kuna et al 2019. Et al means more. All the references you use in the main body of your work should be referenced at the end of your paper. To do this, create a title saying something like references list or bibliography. Then the next thing to do is make a list of all the articles that you've used in your work. The first thing you need to do to reference an article is have the author's name. Now it depends on how many authors you have, but if you have more than one author, then you just write down all the author's names. Before the last name you put and you then write down the date of the publication in brackets and end that with a full stop. You then add the full title of the article and then end that with a full stop. The next part is the journal name. So if your article is from the Journal of Technology in the Human Services, then that is what you write and ensure you write this in italics. It's important for Harvard referencing that you put the journal name in italics and that you're consistent throughout your list. Following the journal name, you put a comma 
and then write down the volume and the issue. So for my paper, it's volume 38, issue 2. So you'd write 38, then open brackets, 2, and then close brackets. You then follow this by a comma, and the last thing you need to do is write down the page numbers of the journal article. Now these numbers aren't necessarily the page numbers from where the information is taken. They are the first number that the article starts, which is 137 in this case, and where the article ends, which is page 158. If you have the DOI available, which is the Digital Object Identifier, which is a string of numbers, letters and symbols, used to uniquely identify an article or document, that is its permanent web address, then add that too. You can see I've just copied and pasted that in. And there you have it. You finished writing your article references. Thank you for sticking with me up to this point. Getting your references right is important for a number of reasons. It can help you improve your academic grades because you're crediting the right people for their work. You're able to point readers to the original sources of evidence that you've used. And finally, you can demonstrate wider reading, which can help you develop your knowledge and skills of critical thinking and analysis. I hope you found this video useful. Don't forget to share your thoughts and questions in the comments box below. Do make sure to subscribe, like and share for more videos. I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.